all you just welcome to Robert's Porch. I'm your host Robert. Week 16 in the NFL season gets underway Thursday night. Actually filming this video a little earlier than normal. Um, so the Monday night game is currently going on. Washington has just, just got the field goal, makes it 23-12, 14 minutes ago in the fourth quarter. Um, so when I talk about playoffs with those two teams, I'm kind of predicting the current finish of Carolina winning. So still a lot of football left in the game. Um, like I said, Washington just getting that field goal to make it 23-12. So, all right, Thursday night we have the New York Football Giants at 10-4 versus the Philadelphia Eagles at 5-9. One of the story story rivalries in the NFL. This is the 170th meeting between these two teams. Giants 86, 81, and 2. Phillies won five out of the last seven. Uh, they end up winning four straight, but the last two have been won by the Giants. Giants won November 6, 28-23. That one was in MetLife Stadium in New York, in yeah, New York. Actually, it's New Jersey, wherever the hell, you know, New York, New Jersey, that little area there. Um, right now, the Giants are the first wild card team. They got a two and a half, two and a half game lead over Washington, who with a loss tonight will be a half game out of the playoff. So then the Giants would have a two game lead over Green Bay. Uh, Giants favored by two and a half. I got them winning, covering, and over on the 41 and a half. Next with the Miami Dolphins at 9 and 5 versus Buffalo Bills at 7 and 7. Miami's one game plus one game over Baltimore, Tennessee, and Denver for the final AFC wildcard spot. Miami's favored by three and a half. Over under a 42. I got them winning, covering, and over on the 42. The Atlanta Falcons is 9 and 5 versus the Carolina Panthers. Uh, currently 5 and 8. With tonight's game going on, if they finish from winning, they'll be six and eight. Um, could not find a line for this game, so I created my own line. Which, hey, I'm just doing this for fun, so yeah, don't bet money on what I'm doing. Um, I came up with five and a half, so I got Atlanta favored by five and a half with an over under of fifty. I have Atlanta winning, covering the five and a half and under under fifty. Next with the Washington Redskins, if they end up losing tonight, seven six and one. Versus the three and eleven Chicago Bears. Fortunately, I think if Washington loses and goes to seven six and one, they would have to win out and hope and be on hope with some help to get into the playoffs. Um, they are favored by three and a half versus the Bears next week or this coming Saturday. Excuse me. Short week for everyone, and most games are on Saturday because of the Christmas holiday. Uh, Washington favored by three and a half, and then winning and covering and under on the forty seven and a half. I would have done this video in front of the Christmas tree like I've done in previous years, but just time constraints when I wanted to get, and get it done, so it's easier to do it here in my little office. So we got the uh, San Diego Chargers. Next, we have the San Diego Chargers at 5 9 versus the 0 14 Cleveland Browns. Anyone watching this game this weekend has issues. <laughs> There's so many other games that'll be worth watching the Miami and Buffalo game. Um, Oakland and Indianapolis should be good. Um, yeah, maybe it's not the worst game in the world. Well, Green Bay, Minnesota, that should be really good. Um, then on Christmas, there's some good games too. But yeah, Chargers favored by six. But what do you say? They win, they cover under on the 43 and a half. You, you can only trash a team like Cleveland so much. Um, Minnesota 7-7 seven seven versus the Green Bay Packers 8-6. Another storied robbery in the NFL. 113th meeting between these two teams. Packers 59-51-2. The last meeting was September 18th. Minnesota won 17-14. Minnesota's won two straight in this rivalry. Currently, Green Bay would have the final wild card spot. But Minnesota won that game when they were one when they were running their five and zero winning streak. They haven't done so hot lately. <laughs> AP's back. Um, I'm still taking Packers. Rogers is looking good here lately. Packers figured it out. I got them winning, covering a six and a half, and over on the forty three. 
to play Adrian Peterson in the championship round of my fantasy football league, which I should if I win tonight, which it looks like um, I'm not sure what Greg Olson's done so far. As long as he doesn't score 50, I'm good. Um, if he scores 50, yeah, I'll play for I'll play for third place at that point. I don't care. <laughs> But as long as Greg Olson doesn't blow up 50 points tonight, I'm in the finals. To play Adrian Peterson or not to play AP, I haven't decided yet. Next we have Tennessee Titans 8-6 versus the Jacksonville Jaguars 2-12. Tennessee tied with Houston for the division lead, one game out of the and or one game out of the wild card. Tennessee favored by four and a half. I get them winning covering under under 44. Just Pathetic Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, they're worse than the Los Angeles Rams. I, I don't understand it. Is Portals not that good a quarterback? I mean, my playoff predictions, I had them in the playoffs. Now they're 2 and 12. So, fired their coach. The Rams fired their coach. We'll see what happens. Can Bortles bounce back next year? Or do they just need to scrap the Bortles idea and start over in Jacksonville? Who knows? Titans getting the victory there. Next we have the New York Jets, 4-10 versus the 12-2 New England Patriots. New England already clinched their division. They're one game up on Oakland for the best record in the AFC. Favored by 16 and a half are the freaking Patriots here. <laughs> they win, they cover, over on the 43 and a half. This game is a, starts to become out of hand. They need to kind of Watch how much playing time Brady and certain players get, kind of rest them for the playoff run. Colts 7-7 seven seven versus the Oakland Raiders 11-3. Colts one game out of the AFC South. Unfortunately, they need to win out and hope for help. Oakland is second in the AFC in playoffs. Trying to get the first round by. Trying to get number one seed. One game we had in New England for that. Favorite by four. A lot to play for. This should be a good game. Hopefully, if I start Andrew Luck, he has a good game and win. You know, I don't care if he wins, as long as he has a good game. Oakland favored by four. I get them winning, covering it under on the 53. Next, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at 8 and 6 versus the New Orleans Saints at 6 and 8. Tampa Bay is minus one game on Atlanta for the, AFC, or the NFC South, tied with Green Bay for the final, final wild card spot. New Orleans favored by a field goal at home. Um, I'm taking Tampa to win, plus three to cover, and over on the 52 and a half. The San Francisco 49ers at 1 and 13 versus the 4 and 10 Los Angeles Rams. As we all remember, San Francisco's one win was week one versus the Los Angeles Rams. They get two victories this year. At least favored by four. I'm giving it to 49ers. Niners win, plus four, under the 40 points. This is a game, if you would have looked at on the schedule 14 weeks ago, you would have said, this is for the NFC West. There's no way. Arizona Cardinals, Seattle Seahawks, Week 16. Holy crap. This is for... No, it's not for anything. Arizona 5-8-1, Seattle 9-4-1. Seattle's already clinched the division. They're half game out. Half game lead for this second overall in playoffs. So for, for the first round by half game over Atlanta and Detroit. They're not coming close to Dallas for every overall number one. Seattle so favored by nine at home. I got them winning covering on, over on the 43 and a half. Cincinnati Bengals 5 8 and 1 versus Houston Texans 8 and 6. Houston's tied with Tennessee for the AFC South lead. A lot to play for here. Um, just their quarterback situation when Brock Osweiler gets benched and the crowd cheers. Really? They signed that stupid contract. Four years, all that guaranteed money. You just cut him and say, fuck it, we done? Do you try to bring in a proven quarterback coach to try to coach him up for next year? You try to draft. I mean, that's a big cap hit for him, so no one's going to trade for him. Don't know what Houston does. I have been winning here, covering the two and under on the 41. I don't think I can see Cincinnati winning, but then if that's the case, then Houston's in a lot of trouble. Um, so on Sunday, Christmas Day, ho, 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 
we have two really, 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 really good games. Uh, we have the Baltimore Ravens at 8 and 6 versus the Pittsburgh Steelers 9 and 5. November 6th, Baltimore beat Pittsburgh at Baltimore 21 14. Baltimore has won four straight versus the Steelers. Pretty much, winner of this is, uh, I think, wins the AFC North. So, Pittsburgh favored by four and a half at home. I don't know why I have a feeling on this one. I could be wrong. My feelings have been wrong before. Uh, I'm taking Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore to win. I give them four and a half. I got them covering that and under on the 44. I just think Flacco is playing really good right now. Not that Big Ben's not. Not that Le'Veon Bell is on my fantasy team. He needs to go for about 50 this week to help me win the fan Fantasy uh, Mania Championship. But hey, you know, I'm picking Baltimore to win. I don't mean the Le'Veon Bell can have a phenomenal game. Um, so next we have the big AFC West matchup. Well, not as big as it was a few weeks ago. We have Denver Broncos 8 and 6 versus the Kansas City Chiefs 10 and 4. Any hope that Denver has of making the playoffs as a wild card team, they have to win out. Plain and simple. Um, Kansas City 10 and 4, one game behind Oakland for the divisional lead. They win the division. They can possibly get you know first round by. They're playing for that. Kansas City favored by four at home. I have them winning, covering and over in the 38. And on the last Monday night game of the year, we have the Detroit Lions at 9-5 versus those Dallas Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? 12-2. Uh, Detroit leading the NFC North. Dallas clinched the division playoff spot already. Leading the, AFC, the, the NFC um, East. Wow. Totally forgot what division they were in. Dallas favored by touchdown at home. This could actually be a second round matchup in the playoffs preview. We got Dallas winning, covering the touchdown, and over on the 43. So that will wrap up week number 16. One more week left in the NFL football season before playoffs. Playoffs. Um, so that will wrap this up. As always, check out all the other sport videos on the Harvard Sports Show. Don't just have a great night, have an American night.